so hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video and in this video i will be solving problem c that is yet another tournament from at the round 141 and i already have a video on problem d so you guys can see that also so now let's move on to the video and see how we can solve this one but before we move on to the solution, I want to tell you guys about Newton School's coding contest. As you guys know, Newton Schools does this coding contest every month. And this month, the name of the contest is Code Rush X. And the prizes are better than ever before. So you can win prizes up to rupees 10 lakhs. And along with this, you can win placement opportunities in top product companies. So like if you guys want to play this for fun or you guys want to play this for placements, that is totally up to you. Uh, the contest will be on 28th of January. Uh, it will start around 9 p.m. and the contest will be three hours long. So there will be ample amount of time for you guys to brainstorm and solve good quality problems. So if you guys want to benchmark yourself or just win some placements, this is a very good opportunity. I will leave a link to this contest in the comments and in the description so you guys can go and sign up from there and show or you can flex how good you are at problem solving. So now let's move on to the solution. So in the problem, we have been given n players, right? Value of n can go up to 10 to the power 5. And you want to play against all the players. And every player has some number of wins. Uh, player P1 has 0 wins. Player P2 has 1 win. Player P3 has 2 wins. And so on. Your player Pn has n minus 1 wins. So you want to play against all the players. And initially, you have been given some k number of coins. And if you want to defeat some player, you have to give some cost, right? So to defeat player P1, you will have to pay A1 coins. To defeat player P2, you will have to pay A2 coins. For P3, A3 and so on. To defeat player Pn, you will have to pay An coins. Right? So like after you play all the N players, we will rank the players on the number of wins. And your task is to use these K coins optimally to get the best rank possible. Right? So that is the problem. If you use all the K coins optimally, what is the best rank that we can get? right that is the problem so let's see how we can solve this right so obviously this like looks like a greedy problem so like if you want to get the best rank right if you want to get the best rank it like it makes sense that you get the most number of wins right so the more wins that you get the more wins we get it will give us a better rank right and if you want to get more wins like it makes sense to greedily greedily defeat the players with lowest cost right greedily defeat the players with lowest cost so what you can do is you can sort out like this cost array right so you have the cost array a1 a2 a3 so on up to an you can sort this array right you can sort this array so let's say after sorting the array becomes something like a1 dash a2 dash a3 dash so on up to an dash right so initially we have k coins so you can use a1 dash coins to defeat this player. So my like number of coins become a k minus a1 dash. Then we can use a2 dash coins to defeat this player. Now my coins become k minus a1 dash minus a2 dash. So you can keep doing this until you run out of coins, right? So let's say the last player you defeat is some value ax dash, right? So we are able to defeat players up to this point, let's say, right? So after this, our coins are empty or, or our coins are not sufficient to defeat the next player, right? So in total, you can greedily pick the lowest values and let's say this gives us some x number of wins right this gives us some x number of wins but uh, this approach is okay but this will not work for all the cases now let's see why not so let's take some example to see this uh, so let's say your cost is something like one two five three and one and your wins are obviously 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Uh, let's say you have k equal to 5 initially. So like if we go greedily, we can defeat this player, we can defeat this player, we can defeat this player, right? So greedily, these three players will be defeated. So we have like we have three wins and like these two players will defeat us. So like his wins will become three and his win will become four. 
and we will have three wins at the end right so we will place here this is our wins and player of these two like wins of these two players increased because they defeated us so currently our rank is equal to three but you can like prove that this is not optimal why not so let's try to like do it in some other manner let's say our cost is equal to one two five three and one i think right and our wins are 0 1 2 3 and 4 right let's say instead of defeating 1 2 and 1 let's say i defeat 1 1 and 3 right so i will defeat this player this player and this player right so wins of these two will increase by one so wins of this become two wins of this become three and our wins are still three right our wins are still three so our wins will lie here right that is three so now you can see that now my rank is equal to 2 right so you can see that even though your number of wins have stayed the same your rank has improved so like you cannot figure out the win pattern or the players that you want to win against using greedy approach even though you can figure out the number of wins right the number of wins has stayed 3 that we found using greedy approach so the number of wins you can find using greedy approach but the win pattern cannot be like uh, found using greedy approach right so we can write this as an observation and the observation is that you can find the number of wins using greedy approach but you cannot found like you cannot find the win pattern or you can say the rank using greedy approach right you cannot do this so let's for the time being let's only find the number of wins right let's say the number of wins using greedy approach come out to be some value x now let's use this x to find the win pattern or find the rank right now let's use this value x so we have so we have our players p1 p2 p3 so on up to px minus 1 px px plus 1 px plus 2 so on up to pn right your player p1 has 0 wins p2 has 1 win 2 wins so on px minus 1 has x minus 2 px has x px plus 1 has sorry px has px x minus 1 px plus 1 has x px plus 2 has x plus 1 and so on your player pn has n minus 1 wins right so now the only thing to observe here is that we only care about player px1 right we only care about player px plus 1 we only care about this one now why so so you can see that like all the players on the left side have like wins less than up to x minus 1 right so even if they defeat us even if they defeat us the maximum number of wins that they can get is x right so if player px defeats us his number of wins will go from x minus 1 up to x but he will still be ranked below us right his number of wins are equal to us but he will still be ranked below us so like all the players on the left side even if they defeat us they will be ranked below us right so we don't have to care about them right we don't have to care about them so we can just ignore them because even if they defeat us their number of wins will never exceed our wins right so we can ignore the players on the left side Similarly, for the players on the right side, right, uh, player px plus 2 has x plus 1 wins, right, so his, or his number of wins are al already more than us, right, so even if we defeat him, it will not help us, because at max, we can have x wins, but px, two, uh, PX plus 2 already has x plus 1 wins, right, so these players will always be above us, these players will always be above us, right, so we can ignore them also. So the only player that is like of concern to us is player px plus 1. Like if we if we defeat him, if we defeat him, so there will be two cases. We have player px with x wins. If we defeat him, right, his wins will stay x, right? So like he will be below us. He will be below us. And like if he defeats us, 
if he defeats us his number of wins will become x plus one and he will go above us right so this player px will help us like to increase our rank if we can defeat him he will be like below us so our rank will increase but if he defeats us right his his rank will increase and our rank will drop so also like our main goal is to defeat him so this gives us the second observation and that is a defeating player px plus one right defeating player px one is important right because he can affect our rank because he affects our rank so if you defeat him right if we defeat him we will have px plus one right he will have x wins we will also have x wins right we will be here and we will also have x wins and you can find our rank so we will have pn here so our rank will be n minus six but if he defeats us we will be below him right my uh, the player px plus one will have x plus one wins and we will have x wins right we will be here so in this case our rank will be n minus x plus one in this case our rank will be n minus x plus one and in this case our rank will be n minus x so like how uh, like how can we check if we can defeat player px plus one or not uh, to do that let's like go on to the first thing that uh, like that we were doing so like firstly we sorted the array right so we had a1 dash a2 dash so on up to ax dash right we defeated all these x players and like in the end we can have some leftover coins right in the end we can have some leftover coins so like we wasted some coins on ax dash right so let's not uh, so let's not waste the coins on ax dash so let's say we ignore ax dash let's say we don't defeat him right so we, we will have leftover coins plus ax dash and now our number of wins are x minus one right so now we need to defeat someone so now we will try to defeat player px plus one so our player px plus one has the cost of ax plus one so now we will check like if our leftover coins and the value of ax dash uh, is enough to defeat player ax plus one or not that is you will check if your leftover coins plus ax dash is enough that is greater than or equal to ax plus one one or not right if it is then you can defeat player px plus one and you can defeat px plus one and your rank becomes n minus six otherwise you don't have enough coins to beat ax plus one in this case you can just defeat ax dash again right in this case you just have to be satisfied with defeating ax dash so in this case your rank will be n minus x plus one right so that will be the entire solution and to implement this it is like really simple you can just like take your array a and you can sort it into a new array a dash so, the, so then figure out the value of a1 dash a2 dash so on up to ax dash this will give you the value of x right then from this also save the value of ax dash and also save the value of leftover coins that you have right figure out these three values now you just have to check if your ax plus one is less than equal to uh, leftover coins sorry for the lag leftover coins plus ax dash and if it is then your answer is n minus x otherwise your answer is n minus x plus one so that will be the entire solution so if you guys want to see the code for this the code is also really easy so here is the code uh, i can create a new array uh, a dash that is my duplicate array so i will sort this array then I will iterate over the array until like I am able to defeat the persons. So I will like find the number of wins. So my wins is equal to X, right? So number of wins that I can have. My largest value contains the value of AX dash. And I will like my temporary contains the number of leftover coins. So if my number of wins are equal to N, that means my rank is one itself, right? Then I don't need to do anything. Otherwise, otherwise I will check if my temporary, that is my leftover coins plus AX dash, that is largest 
is like greater, greater than or equal to my v wins that is like my value of ax plus 1 if it is my answer is n minus wins otherwise my answer is n minus wins plus 1 right so that is the entire solution and if you guys have any doubts feel to ask in the comments or in my discord server i'll be more than happy to answer your doubts there and i will see you guys in next one bye bye